whenever I have my backpack with me, I just keep my shelter kit inside my backpack. I always pack my shelter kit in a smaller bag or a smaller pouch so that in the event I need to drop my backpack for whatever reason and go set out traps or resupply on water, I can lighten my load, save on the calories expenditure, and I can take this and I can put a carrying strap on it and take this with me, or I can just hook it to my belt and make sure that if something happens when I'm out doing whatever I needed to be doing and I was separated from my gear, that I have at least a minimum shelter kit. Choose a military poncho over, say, uh, a tarp or something to that effect. Uh, the reason is the poncho has a hood on it and it's designed to be worn while you're moving. So if I'm not in a suitable location to establish a, a, a fixed shelter, I can still wear the poncho it's still going to offer me that protection uh, and it's large enough to where I can cover my gear as well. This entire poncho shelter kit is super small, it's super lightweight, it's less than two pounds. Like I said, I can use it either in a fixed shelter, a fixed position shelter like I'm about to build, or I can wear it when I'm mobile still and it'll still offer me that same protection. If you look at what's inside, I've got six tent stakes the poncho, and a couple of figure nine carabiners. Now granted I could make these, but these, th these things weigh nothing, and there are other things that I need to focus on besides carbon tent pegs. So for me, it's worth it to carry these, because I don't have to carry these figure nine carabiners. Um, I could just tie it directly to the tree, but I do like these, and they don't weigh much, and they don't take up much space. And then for my poncho, this is just a military poncho. And obviously for a survival situation, I would want to use bright colors. But I still do things in a tactical manner sometimes, so I still need to maintain that, that tactical military survival aspect as well. So this kind of allows me to hide myself if I want to. Um, and then I can use other things to signal for rescue. But for the normal everyday person that's out, packing or hunting, using a brightly colored poncho is a great idea. So if you look at what I've done on the poncho, another thing that saves myself time is I went ahead and tied some cordage off already, this is just some paracord. That way when I get to where I need to go, or if a storm's rolling in and I need to throw a shelter up really quick, this is already done for me. And these are just tied on with anchor bowlins, and I've left a good two feet of paracord so that I can stake this out as they build this shelter.